Florida Timeline Wrap, page three. Paul de Leon in 1513 arrived in, gazed on the flowery scene. In La Florida, he named the land and stuck the flag of Spain in the sand. Do you know what did he want? He was looking for a mythical fountain. In 1539 came DeSoto and his crew, traveling in Florida and other states too. He came with many conquistadors, trained to explore, trained for war. That's all of page three. Now I'm going to say pages one all the way through three. Challenge yourself and see if you can say it along with me. Please listen to our Florida rap. We'll tell you the timeline in a snap. We don't know much about how Florida began, like when it was first inhabited by man, but Indians were the first people probably we can tell. From ancient tools and pottery, the northeastern Indians were called to move was. They harvested maize, beans, melon, and squash. Calusa in the south made things from shells, spears and tools, and utensils. The Tocobaga lived in the Tampa estuary. Their pottery skills were extraordinary. The Casta lived where Miami is today, each loved to dine on a manatee fillet. The Apalachee scalped their adversaries. Thus, the North was visited by Catholic missionaries. Ponce de Leon in 1513 arrived and gazed on the flowery scene. In La Florida, he named the land and stuck the flag of Spain in the sand. Do you know what did he want? He was looking for a mythical fountain. In 1539, came to Soto and his crew, traveling in Florida and other states too. He came with many conquistadors, trained to explore, trained for war. Good job.